due to the fact of me being an idiot, I am redoing this because I forgot to plug in my microphone in the last version. And I really like that last version, so I might just use it. But it sounds really bad. But I might use it because I really like that version. I like the things I said in it. But if I can stick with this version, you guys get a better audio quality. Before this video starts, I'd like to say a huge thank you for the love and support I've gotten on my short film Aftermath. I'm really thankful for all you guys and all that support and the, and the genuine, like, good criticism I've been getting on it. I really appreciate that kind of stuff. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you. The support has been overwhelming. Thank you so much. Before I start this director's commentary, if you have not seen Aftermath, please go watch it. Link, link is probably right out up here. Please go watch Aftermath, uh, then come back to watch this. Get just, just get yourself a big bowl of chocolate chocolate chip. Eat some chocolate chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on Aftermath and watch it and enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the director's commentary. Play. There we go. There's six. Um, so yeah, cats out of the bag. Uh, they're the, the, the symbolism of the mask. Uh, I did not realize that until like two weeks before uploading this short film. Uh, I'm really sorry. That was not intentional totally went over my head. I guess just life imitates art sometimes, or art imitates life, whatever it is. Uh, I guess it just, you know, I guess it rolls out that way. I just saw the name Nathan Meyer. Nathan Meyer is my cousin, uh, and he's amazing. He's been here since day one. Uh, me and him lived in Florida. We moved to Indiana uh, about four years ago, but all my life I've been making short films, and he's been with most of them and helped me out. Terrible, terrible stuff. I wish I could show you guys. Maybe I won't, though. Also, I'm sorry for you in my fridge. Um, so yeah, 14 kilometers from the haze, uh, this goes to show how, like, dense the clouds are, or that whatever the haze is, uh, so I want it still kind of foggy, even though you're really far from the haze. Uh, one thing, you're seeing textures loading, uh, I'm an idiot, I was walking while filming these, I should have stayed still, like, the cactuses just changed right there. Yeah, I don't know why, and, like, you'll see other textures loading as I walk, cause that's all, you know, that's how video games work, is what it is. Also, the, the compression in GTA is just so bad. The compression is just some of the worst. I know I'm not the first one who's pointed that out, but it's really bad. Um, I got a lot of questions about like the uh, the gas mask and uh, the breathing. So what I did was I got a, a, a soup can uh, and then just went the entire time, or not the entire time, not through the, uh, the middle musical section, uh, but I did that most of the time. And yeah, it, it left me lightheaded a little bit, not gonna lie. It was, it was a little hard to do. I actually did that right behind this couch because I know my fridge makes noises when it turns on and stuff. And I didn't want my audio recorder to pick up that. My one complaint is I wish I, I turned my audio recorder down too much. Uh, so I wish I turned it up so I could, you could actually hear it more. Uh, I've noticed in the action you can't even hear it, which uh, is a shame, but it's fine. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. Even like walking shots, you can't hear it, but it is what it is. I also got some criticisms of... Uh, speeding up my breathing uh, in intense sequences because uh, of adrenaline and also like running makes you breathe faster. I did. You just can't hear it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> is what it is though. Um, I guess, you know, the establishing is just to show you how empty and alone this town is. There's literally no one here, but there's little scraps of like, someone has been here maybe. Um, so yeah, that was my main goal. Uh, this section I like. I like this section. Um, I basically just stood in front of a campfire and recorded, and that was about it. Also, welcome to my basement, by the way. Um, yeah, it's my basement. I mean, what else can I say? I've never watched any of my short films on a TV. This was my first time, and it was kind of nice. Also, I have the sound off, so I can't really talk about specific music cues or sound cues. I just, you know, have most of it memorized anyways, though. Um, yeah, I kind of want to show the, like want to give more to this character, even though my main complaint with this is there's no plot. He really has no drive, uh, except for just looking around for stuff. And there's, all, there's really, you, the only plot to this is a man goes searching and runs into some goons, I guess. That's the best way I could explain it. I guess that, that would be my pitch to companies. Uh, but yeah, these scenes, I basically just shot a gun and recorded people running. Just that, you know, with the music sounds like sirens to me. really love the music. And in the opening credits, I actually layered it in specific ways to make it sound more chaotic and more echoey and stuff. Maybe more, not like echoey, more just like it's reverbing and stuff. And also that shot with the traffic. I, um, I was in story mode and he spawned as Franklin. And I was like, oh, you can't get traffic online. Let me get this real quick. And the cars crashed into each other. I was like, great. I, I, that gives a little eeriness to it, I guess, uh, for the audience to guess. I, you, I, I kind of like these shots of just random 
stuff. I, I really like doing shots like that in short films. Just like, just like that. Boom. Pile of trash on TV right there. Also, one thing with this music is I got really lucky with timing. I like changing shots or switching from shot to shot on cues of music or on beats. So like when, or when it goes to a different note at least. And it happened, not, not in this shot right there, um, but it does happen in these next few shots just per chance. I didn't really have to cut anything. So I got really lucky with that. I'm really happy with that. Also, that shot from that one... No, I'm thinking of something different. I, yeah, it's just the music lined up really perfectly right there. I was really happy with that. I thought I'd get rid of that shot and that shot right there. Um, just thought there was no need for it, but with the music timing, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll keep it. I like this shot right here. Really like this shot. There was honestly no need for me to do that. Uh, and then I realized what kind of shot I could get from it. And then obviously that is the, the thumbnail on the poster for the movie. Also, I like doing top-down shots like that. Uh, but the thing is, you can't go too far in GTA, uh, at least in Xbox One Edition, because the stupid bubble, you know? I wish I could give you more freedom. I wish the bubble was gone. At least expanded to, like, two miles or whatever, but... I mean, it is what it is. I can't really... You know, I can't complain. I have every right to complain. Nah, I'm just messing around. Um, yeah, so, again, I'm on Xbox, so I just go in director mode or, in a, or make a team deathmatch and just place these things down, just walk around and record myself doing it. I have like 50 inside of the car shots, and you like see the like, you know, the walker outside. Um, so I had to limit it. <laughs> I had a lot, like a lot of my shots do that. So I had, to, I had to cut a bunch just to, you know, it doesn't seem repetitive. Yeah, and, and like stuff like that, you know, of him exploring and like, hey, there could have been someone waiting in that van for him. So I was like, you know, if it were me, I would aim my gun and make sure I'm turning every corner so I don't get blasted away. Uh, that car sounds really faint, and not the best, and I actually downloaded it from YouTube. I actually download a lot of sounds from YouTube, which is like a no-no, because they don't sound good. But honestly, I thought they kind of worked with the short film. Um, so yeah, that car sounds really faint, and it didn't really sound that good loud, and it didn't sound good quieter, because you couldn't hear it. So, it is what it is. I wish the music timed up better with this one, but uh, I was fine with how the way it is. Also, I don't like that shot. <laughs> I wish I changed that because the shot, the way the camera's moving, it, it it shows you where he's going to be, and then he moves into that spot. Just wish I followed him more. Um, but yeah, like you can't find any good Foley gun sounds, so I had to download them from YouTube because most gun sound packs you buy and download, it's just like you know the the shooting. That's really it. So like shell casings and and reloading and stuff. I thought GTA would pick that up, but it doesn't really. So, or at least the Rockstar Rider doesn't really pick it up as well as I thought it would. So I had to, um, yeah, I, I had to add those in manually, as you do with most stuff, really. Except for footsteps, I'm not ready for that. Musically, I bought this from Triune Store, uh, Film Riot, amazing people, by the way. Um, and basically, when they download music, they give you files you can choose from. So you have, like, the main thing, and you have, like, the baseline, so I just, you know, put the baseline afterwards. Uh, this action scene's probably the weakest one. No, it is the weakest one. I, I would redo it because of that shot. Um, I I praise Nathan all for that in this video, but I have no idea why he did that. Sometimes the aiming in GTA is just like that, you know, is what it is. Um, also, I thought the pacing was fine in it, and also there's clear shots where he could have killed me uh, or I could have killed him. Uh, so I wish I could have changed that up. Musically, though, with the short film, I got really lucky. I think the music in the short film is really good. Uh, and I can say that because I didn't make it. A lot of other people just really helped me out with this. This sequence was a lot longer than it is in this cut. Uh, a lot is cut from the short film. Uh, a lot more than I thought, than I, or the, than I would imagine. Um, this was a lot longer, and the pacing was just really terrible. It was like some of the worst. So I, I just cut most of it. Um, cut a lot more shots of him, which I'm really sad because I really like that. Uh, fun part, I shot that canister, and the fire was spitting out of it. And then Nathan's character just like toppled over and then stood back up like a glitch. And that shot again, and then his body launched off. It was hilarious. I actually don't have, I listened to the deleted clips, so I don't have it anymore. There's the infamous uh, backpack disappearing, because Rockstar's just amazing, by the way. Uh, yeah, we did this in Team Deathmatch after my character died. He lost it, and you couldn't find it again. So yeah. Uh, we reshot this one? Yeah, we reshot this one. Um, it was no good. No good whatsoever. Some of the worst. Uh, some of the actual... No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 we reshot this. Um, I wanted my character with a shotgun, 
Um, so I guess you could say he pulled the shotgun out of the backpack and threw it on the ground. I do not know. Um, I do wish the music timed up better with this one, but still, I think it, I wish it hit right here, which I really like this shot. I thought I, that's probably my second favorite shot in this whole short film. And here we come to the best part of the short film. And if you think it's the explosion, it's not. It's something right next to the explosion, which makes it even better. If you look, the canister, the wa the gasoline's still pouring out of the canister. I'll put a circle on the screen. I did not notice that up until I was in post. And I was like, well, I can't go back and fix that. I just, I don't have the time to do it. I mean, I did, but I, I just didn't want to. Uh, here's one of the worst parts of the short film. The sound change right here. Uh, basically, in this shot, you hear a train. And I wanted this world to feel post-apocalyptic and feel empty. And if you hear a train, I feel like I took the audience out. And I'm afraid I still took the audience out with my terrible sound put in thingy. So, I'm very sorry if you noticed it. If you didn't notice it, thank you, I guess. It was terrible, though. Um, but yeah, some of the worst. But also, GTA has, like, in between shots, like, especially this one. This is all filmed in the same place. Just the way the wind is and the shot is, it just changes. And it's, it's fine, you know. There's not much I could really do about it. But yeah, the whole idea about this, I really wanted a standoff. That is the the number one thing it's been in draft one standoff and this is not a first draft but this is definitely like a script in after post to start changing stuff which doesn't really happen much uh like that shot i love how ridiculous that costume is i was like hey nathan make some apocalyptic outfits and he's like oh okay and he was like well i have this one and i was like perfect that is the shoot that is the uh you know the standoff dude loved it i i think i wish i could make it more hyper ridiculousness to this also in that shot he's not holding the magnum because in director mode you cannot hold the um the hand uh, the magnum or whatever it's called in gta uh fun fact original ending of this was he was going to keep walking and then walk to the edge of the uh, the lake and then the camera he stops and the camera pans up to uh, matt chili and then it cuts to black like right when it stops um Clearly, that's setting up for a sequel, but I have no idea what I would do for a sequel. I mean, I have a little bit, but I don't know what I would want to do with the sequel. Um, and, you know, I, this is the first project I've ever been kind of proud of. I'm not, like, embarrassed by this. I'm really happy with the with how this turned out. I shouldn't, and that's why I didn't show Nathan much of in the middle, because, like, here, here's the full project. This is, this is all, you know, love from me and you. And uh, he said, hey, this really sets up for a good series. And I'm like... You know, I'm glad you think that. I really do, but I don't know what I would do. Uh, that was never my original intention. So if I did make a series, it would probably be part two or part three. That's not my original idea, but, you know, it, Nathan can help me write it since, you know, clearly he's got something going on in his mind. Um, I kind of like the idea of the audience not knowing what truly happened. Because, like, you know it's a chemical war, and you know you got to wear a mask, and a lot of people die, but you don't know how it happened. Um, so I, I like giving the audience. I love mystery. Mystery is amazing. I don't know if I mentioned that, I think I mentioned this before, but I, God bless Nathan, because I, I was just told him, I was like, hey, do this and this and this, and he just did it, you know? Like, no questions asked, he didn't even know the script. I was like, hey, can you do this for me? He's like, yep, you got it. Like, that that's a, t that's a talent that not a lot of people have, and Nathan does, and I'm really thankful for that. Like, I'm so thankful for that. Yeah, he's uh, he's goaded, he's the man. Um, if you're a beginning filmmaker, use Hit Film Express, it's free, and they have add-ons and stuff. It's amazing, by the way. Like. I love HitFilm. I don't want to change from it for a while. Like, of course, I'll, you know, later on upgrade to W Premiere, but HitFilm's fantastic. Um, I really should put Nathan first, because after all the years he helped me out, uh, so I am kicking myself in the ass for that. But again, thank you to Dev David Fessling, because he's let me use his music for free. There's my fridge, by the way, I'm very sorry. Like, using the music for free, and if I monetize it, I have to pay him, but I don't, I don't need to monetize, you know, this. Um, but yeah, and also thank you to all you guys who have supported and support my channel and, you know, we're almost at 100 subscribers, which is a little crazy to me. I never thought I'd be at 100 subscribers, if I'm being honest. I've always, like, wanted more than that, obviously, but, like, never realistically thought I would get there. Um, especially as fast as uploading in February. If it, it's over now. I uploaded in February, and I was at, like, 62? Yeah, 62, and I've jumped up to 93 as of today. So, huge thank you to you guys and your love and support, like seriously. Uh, anywho, I really hope you enjoyed watching this director commentary. I uh, hope you enjoyed your chocolate chocolate chip. Eat some chocolate chocolate chip. Yeah. And watching my short film. 
uh, and list me babble on things I did not like and kind of liked in this. The next video will be a special one, unless it's a movie review, then this will be the video afterwards, because uh, I'll be announcing the, uh, the short film pool, because I'm recording this on June 1st. Uh, so the short film hat pool is coming up, and I'll be doing monthly short films, or I'll try my hardest at least, because, you know, college is still in August, can't wait! Hey you guys, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this and enjoyed my short film, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.